what is a GMO? Let's see if we can talk a little bit about that definition. It seems, it seems like a pretty straightforward question to begin with. GMO stands for genetically modified organism, which individually, each of those words, we know what they mean. But when we put them together, modified from what? And who's doing the modification? And what sorts of organisms are we talking about? These can be a little bit difficult to answer. So let's, let's first take our question to Google and let's look what it says when we type in, what is a GMO? The first thing that comes up, which, you know, it's in a box, looks sort of like an official definition. It says, a GMO, or genetically modified organism, is the result of a, of a laboratory process where genes from the DNA of one species are extracted and artificially forced into the genes of an unrelated plant or animal. The foreign genes may come from bacteria, viruses, insects, animals, or even humans. Now, you, you listen to this and there's some interesting sort of uh, red flags that sort of pop up at you as you read. Um, artificially forced, foreign genes, viruses, bacteria. This all sounds a little bit scary. So where exactly is this, uh, this definition coming from? Well, if you click through to the link, we find that this is, uh, this is coming from a group called the Institute for Responsible Technology. Um, Institute for Responsible Technology is actually a group that is, is founded by uh, Jeffrey Smith. Uh, Jeffrey Smith uh, being an activist. He's somebody who is, is motivated and trying, um, trying to eliminate GMOs. In fact, he says it's his stated goal to achieve the tipping point of consumer rejection of GMO foods. Um, so clearly, this definition may have some sort of bias in it. Um, in fact, if you go ahead and click on that link over to the right that says about IRT, um, you'll, find, you'll find quite a bit of information talking about their motivation to, to try and push back on GMOs. So let's go back to Google. Let's see if we can find another, uh, another definition. If we go uh, slide down to the very next link, we find this one that's called GMO Facts. Uh, this one uh, is put together by the non-GMO project. So uh, from the outset, we know what their motivation is. Let's read what they have to say. They say, GMOs, or genetically modified organisms, are living organisms whose genetic material has been artificially manipulated in a laboratory through genetic engineering, or GE. This relatively new uh, science creates unstable combinations of plant, animal, bacteria, and viral genes that do not occur in nature or through traditional crossbreeding methods. And, and there again, we find a few of these words that, that seem to be put in there to try and agitate us a bit as we read um, things like unstable combinations. And you can read further on down the, um, the page and you'll find quite a few others. It's, it's pretty clear where this organization stands as well. Uh, so let's try a different search. If we go back to uh, Google and, and this time we can, we can type in GMO defined. And when we type in GMO defined, uh, we see there the, the, first, uh, the first link that comes up. It says GMO defined, uh, GMO awareness. And we can look there, and, and as you pull it up, you find this wonderful picture of, of uh, tomatoes with a syringe in them. In any case, we can read what they have to say. And, and under this first question, how is GMO different from hybridization or crossbreeding? It says, genetic modification is the process of forcing genes from one species into another entirely unrelated species. Unlike crossbreeding or hybridization, both of which involve two related species or have been done without ill effects for centuries, genetic engineering forcefully breaches the naturally occurring barriers between species. And again, you have this language that just tries to instill in you this, this bit of fear about how it's doing, trying to say this is something really foreign that forcefully breaches the naturally occurring barriers. Um, in fact, if we go back up to the very top of this page, there's a, a wonderful uh, little quote here, uh, just, just the headline, ever wonder why food is being made and modified by the world's largest pesticide manufacturers? What is this talking about? Well, it's, it's referring to Monsanto. Of 
Corporation we're going to hear quite a bit about over the course of this, uh, this MOOC. Um, and in fact, we can, uh, we can go back uh, to our Google search. And if you go back to the Google search and you slide down just a few more links, you'll see where it says Glossary Monsanto. And if you go there, you can find uh, a definition on Monsanto's page. It's, it's embedded on this page that is actually pretty hard to find on their website unless you, uh, unless you have to you know, actually search through Google the way we did. Um, so they're, they're not making this the most prominent thing on their site. Uh, but if you read their definition, it says, a genetically modified organism is any organism, the genetics of which have been altered through the use of modern biotechnology to create a novel combination of genetic material. GMOs may be the source of genetically modified food ingredients and are also widely used in scientific research and to produce goods other than food. Well, that's pretty antiseptic, right? It doesn't really tell us too much about what it is that we're looking at. It's sort of vague. In fact, all the definitions we've read are somewhat vague as to, as to what they mean, though in many of these, we can figure out what the, modif uh, the motivation of the people putting them together is. Um, this still doesn't tell us how modification takes place or for what purposes or for who. Um, and, and really none of these definitions have told us that. So what can we make of, uh, of these definitions, of these, uh, you know, these different ways we can define GMOs? Well, the definitions themselves are controversial. And the way we define a GMO is gonna depend somewhat on how we view the whole GMO debate overall. And our de definitions tend to be motivated. And so we can't really come to a very clear conclusion as to what they are very easily. Um, what we may not learn uh, so easily is exactly what a GMO is. And for that, we'll have to look a little bit deeper.